There we go, it's recording. So, starting with Japan as always. Okta, you take the lead. You're the most knowledgeable one and the most intoxicated one. Oh, so. no, uh, I... Yeah, I'm the most intoxicated one by far. So it's I'm... fun to listen to you. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> it's Friday night, and instead of having started partying already, I'm here with a bunch of nerds. Yes. So I know nothing about Asia and I have or my how shirt to play off, it. So uh, doesn't it feel like a party? That's all the best part is <laughs> debug mode. Okay. Tag SMC. So yeah, uh, Shimatsu is a nation. It has 64. Force limit, which sucks. It's not making any money, and that kind of sucks. Uh, Ching is going to die, and then uh, Shemasu can just eat Ching all of that. Ching is going so to die. That's good. What? What's, huh? what's going on with that assumption? Why is Ching going to die? Uh, the assumption between it is that uh, Ching has Mandate of Heaven and seems to be struggling a little bit with it. Mm. So I guess we could do like Shing and Shimazu at the same time. Uh, one tip for Shimazu that we should include, he should get the plus one mil from his nobility. Uh, yes. He's not getting it right now and it's so important to and get it. And he can just get the it. Second, yeah, just revoke the second one, it's the most useless privilege you can give. Yeah. It just gives influence and loyalty, yeah. just revoke that and give the mill one. It's, yeah, and you, you should get this one in 1444. You don't no matter behind, what nation you are. You don't fall behind on Crownland, and they're still yeah. loyal, so definitely should get yeah. this. And their loyalty equilibrium is still positive by 11, almost 12. So definitely get uh, the one that gives you mill power. Does he get mm -hmm. uh, Diplo? And yeah, he gets Diplo, and he gets Admin. So um, he went Apart from exploration that, uniting... quality. Uh, yeah, quality, fine. this naval stuff. Yeah, the expression mm. quality is fine. He went to Shogunate, which... Uh, has he placed colonies yet? Uh, yeah, uh, he in... has colonies in uh, Taiwan and Philippines, and he's also fighting uh, Malacca actively. Yeah, he fought, uh, he fought He Malacca makes great use of the Shogunate, he has like a fuck ton of vessels, and he's also in Alaska. But the oh. one in Alaska, he is expelling a minority from Kyoto. He got the I gold don't really agree with that. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm looking more at this nation. I'm starting to like yeah. it more than my initial uh, blatant rage and fury. Uh... Uh, he's he was pretty far behind when we looked at this first at the first uh, podcast, but uh, he's uh, he's catching up. He's not that bad. He's mm. uh, primarily trying to make a naval nation and colonize, I guess, and go with the trade game. And if we can yeah. take over the whole archipelago here he's definitely going to have a lot of uh, dev to you know build a yeah, and he, he, he gets to he gets to trade company a lot of it and he could yeah. set up some nice chains with uh, trade companies yeah so but he... that's actually not the important trade note when you want to go colonial japan because of the new trade note in the last patch that is in the middle of the pacific the hawaiian one yeah. Uh, it's completely new it was not mentioned really in the patch note it's so strong that's because then you can Polynesian also China. funnel so, yes, you can yeah, then you funnel can South from China Philippines. into Philippines, Philippines into the Pacific, and then from Pacific back to Nippon. Oh yeah, that you you pretty much get everything into Japan from here, don't you? Wait, yeah. can you make a circle? Uh, no, no. Uh, it no, no, looks no, no, like no. it, but it's not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it goes from goes from yeah. Nippon to Malacca and uh, it's just to Malacca so. still goes out. So. Is that but... my microphone? No. Oh, Did something happen? Yeah, Kajmak is having some microphone issues. Am I? Yeah, it sounds like this. Wait. Oh, fuck. I was never to do it. Give me a sec. But yeah, uh, the trade game... Yeah, I guess it seems solid. Is it better now? Yes. Okay. It's, uh, it's uh, a bit worrying that I'm gonna have to edit like half the video if it keeps acting up. <laughs> So definitely let me know so I'm not recording for no reason. Uh, uh, why don't you unite Japan? Is there a... Uh, I think he's oh. missing something still. Uh, he... No, he would lose his government. And look at, like, he has all this uh, vessels. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He leads the bump. Okay, he leased three in the Malacca note, and he would lose them if he no, becomes... Uh... Yeah, and one, two, three, he has five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I guess that's one. So. So and if you want to do play, Shogun is fine. I don't and he's him. allied with the evil Aztecs. Would it be worth it to <coughs> Japan anyway? 
because Shimazu has, I mean, you're not going to change idea, uh, national ideas anyway. So, why switch to Japan? Um, to become Empire, because Shogunate is fixed to Kingdom rank. Mm. And once you yeah. have integrated all your vessels, uh, you can click it, become Empire rank, and uh, move on from there. Okay. So, do you guys have anything else to say about Shimazu? Or are we good to move on? <sighs> Abandon Ching, I guess. It's uh, the best advice. Yeah, because yeah, if, like... if we can eat into China, that's going to be big. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's how you get really rich and powerful. Yeah. Especially if you kill that player, then there's so much space where no other yeah, player will be. Yeah, but he's, he's hugboxing with uh, all of Asia right now, and he's going into Siberia, which I guess if he can like set up some colonies here, it might be good. But you know, I guess that uh, kind of depends on uh, how new he is to the game. Yeah. If you're new to the game, hugboxing is still totally legitimate. Mm. Do it for all the. Oh, I mean, he look at where competent. he look! Look at his victory card. That's fun. Um, victory card. Yeah, I should be checking those, shouldn't I? Where? Yeah, we should be constantly checking those the for ammunition. They're in diplomacy. Cards. You should bind it. It's at the bottom. Victory cards. Yeah. You have to click on the nation. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got it. I just got my food here, so. You, you, you'll have to Do zoom have out to quite a bit. Him? You have to zoom out. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, you're not like. It's Where? like him. Oh, Brunei. here it is. Hmm. Yeah. That's why he's fighting Malacca so hard. Yeah, I need to bind that. I just think my things are already pretty full. I'll just put it here. Victory card. Okay, let's uh, tag yeah, over let's... to Ching then. I making a little more money. Which is good. Uh, the mandate thing is a problem. I gave him advice in the last podcast to try and regulate that, and I also told him that. Uh, as Ching, you kind of have to, when you take over Mandate, you have to consolidate China, otherwise you're going to fall behind. If you focus on hordes too much, and if you let like too many people eat into China, your Mandate is just going to tank, and it's going to be hard to recover. It looks like he's finally stabilized it a little bit, but, you know, uh, it, it's just going to be a little harder to get it right. Uh, he's uh, hiring higher level advisors now, mm -hmm. which is good, because last session he had yeah. plus ones. Yeah. And there's uh, China that's important for the meritocracy um, mechanic. Still At least he does no longer have mega Yeah, he's just barely surviving on meritocracy. Yeah, still looks like you need to promote at least one more of them, but uh, he's struggling with he, cash. Yeah, he doesn't so... have the money to do that. Do yeah. the, well, to uh, do the, uh, what's the solution that? there? Does he have proper estates? I, I mean, as he here. gets low mercurial, he makes the advices more expensive and less yeah. expensive once he gets um, it up. Maybe, probably, it's way too late, but uh, innovative yeah, has, instead uh, of protectionism. He has advisor yeah. maintenance cost reduction from the estates. But... Yeah, but if he mm. had innovative instead of protectionism, then mm. he it would have helped a bit. But also, when he finishes the three ID groups, there is the... Uh, Policy of reduced mm -hmm. cost, which is yeah. also going to help him a lot. He also has a free diplo policy slot that he can use. Yeah, he's not using for anything. Um, yeah, but they're all shit, anyways. Uh, yeah, they're not very good, but you know, you Wait, can is, still go for more red? exhaustion, I guess. I thought that oh, was an ally, more but... exhaustion? Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's increasing, so yeah. Uh, but he hasn't yeah. unlocked the policy yet. Um, he, did. he can reduce more exhaustion. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm blind. Yeah. Um, another thing is like. If he would be in a better um, position, I would advise him to switch to Vajrayana religion because but, Confucianism is just bad. But he also, very, very quick, quickly, he's tech 10, so he can pick another policy in all groups. Mm. So yeah. he can have a uh, national pact yeah. yeah, a... and uh, manpower as well. And that's not going to cost him anything. Yeah, you so can tech, that's... tech 12. So you can take two policies in every slot and then you can check them out like later it's not that big of a cooldown it's only 10 years so if you want to switch them out in a little bit that's not a huge issue uh regarding his victory card oh yeah that victory is card my... where did i bind that oh he Here. has it already yeah. yeah i think he was one of the first people that got the victory card that's why he's yeah. so far ahead in score yeah he's third in score he has and some... people very much underestimate how much the accumulated score 
actually will impact the late game. Yeah. Because you kill the one that's first place in score and fuck him up, but then depend then whoever takes over that spot is going to be a person with a lot of accumulated score. Hmm. Well, um, for his Diplo situation, like I said, I would. Uh, he's also hugboxing with Iviet and uh, Chimazu. His only issue is Bengal. Uh, like yeah. his only enemy is Bengal, but I would probably try and work this situation out because this land here is worth a lot and hugboxing with people. Like when you're a king or Manchu or whatever, you're all of China is yours and you need to do Diplo, you know, in that regard. And you shouldn't really be letting people eat into it because long term it's going to leave you in a much weaker position because of the whole mandate thing. Yeah. But yeah, does anyone else have any I advice? Yeah, uh, hug box with uh, dive yet and kill uh, iced. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, the the experienced players needs to do some fighting. Iced haven't mm. had a real real fight all season, mm. and he actually in several seasons, and uh, he needs to do some fighting. So mm. fuck him up. But uh, I mean, uh, just look at Queen's uh, increased uh, fight dimension shock damage take four percent more of each. That wouldn't be yeah. fun for him. Yeah, Takes up the all the dam uh, yeah. damage, yeah. Because of the low mandate. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, His trips are really paper right now. Yeah, I would like to see him try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he should not try. Yeah, number one, fix the mandate issues you're having. Number two, kill Iced. And he also made the, uh, another mistake that I bet is his uh, trip, fix, sorry. The yeah. Quickest, the quickest way uh, why to... Is that, wait, wait, why is that an issue, Iced? That's because if I attack him or he attacks me, Divet wouldn't be in the fight. Yeah. Uh... So, uh... The quickest way to yeah. fix your mandate problems is just to remove all this devastation, especially like in the areas where you're not yeah, seeing uh... any more fighting. Uh, you either build forts in there... Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. You need some forts and uh, you can hover over it in like the western parts of his country. Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, he has yeah. Uh, a lot of devastation here, he has devastation in Korea, but if you don't want to build a fort there, if it's like too inconvenient, you can also just click dev once and... Yeah, all yeah you can dev all away. those private... It, it will cost you like 40, not even 40, uh, mana per pop and just... Yeah, because it removes devastation. 10 devastation per development, so it's yeah. it's not uh, very expensive. And also you, use, uh, you see, edicts. like I just clicked three buttons, and you're already in positive, and you really want to be above, I think, 50, because the 50 yeah. modifier makes your troops paper. So uh, that that's your number one priority. I would. Even though hugboxing is a bad thing, naturally, I would keep hugboxing eh. until you can fix your mandate, and then maybe you can do something mm. else. Because right now your trips are really paper, and yeah. you need to fix that. Which is, which is also why I suggested to Japan to maybe hint into him because. Yeah. All right, let's go to dive yet. Mm. Yeah. What's the tag for dive yet? Uh, no uh, D A I dive. Yes. Thank you. Dive yet. There's uh, 500 dev, 30 income, and 72 force limit. Yeah, uh, he's That's... not doing that bad. Uh, when If he manages to unite all of Indochina, he has a pretty good uh, power base. Yeah. Is Malaka a player? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, he has very high average autonomy because he has unstated land and the stated stuff is not all reduced autonomy. Hmm. Oh, is it? Is he afraid of governing mm -hmm. capacity? No, he's not. No. no. I don't know why he didn't. Uh, really pull far it. under though. This is where are my states. Uh, are? Like really, uncaught land is not worth it because it's ninety percent autonomy. It only gives you ten percent of what it could do. That's really bad. Um, he's uh, fighting Vu right now. Although, like I like I said, I would prioritize mm -hmm. getting provinces here in your culture group. Mm -hmm. They're, they're probably going to be worth more, and with the I mm, I disagree with you, Kajmak. With the changes I think, in uh, the mod, this land is pretty much the same as farmland because the yeah, development but, cost mm, is the same. The trade mode. I, I I would grab all territory that's up for grabs by other nations. Hmm. If he can get Vu before Qing and then go into those provinces, I think that's as solid. But yeah. the end the war together. Hmm? Just for some reason, the end the war together. Oh, it, yeah, Uncle. and also, no, it's two separate oh. wars. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, grab stuff that other humans can grab and then take the free stuff later. Yeah, but, you know, also, it's, not, um, it's not free stuff either because Bengal's right here, and even though they have some sort of a deal, what's to stop Bengal from just gobbling up this shit, you know? 
Oh, there is or Malacca for that matter. Uh, line, but uh, yeah, Malacca is not in the position to do that. But I think Bengal is. And uh, yeah, what's his ideas? He took economic. That's good. Uh, yeah, he needs his third I, let's hope he has economic yeah, he, he all the event. He needs a mill in slot three because he is going to have to do something. Yeah, fighting. you usually yeah. go mill, non-mill, mill, non-mill, mill. So every every second yeah. idea is mill group. There are some exceptions, but also... No. Uh, so this might you, even be worth abandoning to get the uh, quality... He has nothing for the ultimate idea group, he should just yeah. click it away. Yeah, I think you should probably yeah. go uh, quality or offensive. Offensive. Um, um, no. Or if he needs money and um, mercenary plutocratic, I think it's a valid option in this mod. I Another thing um, he should do, like he's not, he's missing out on the plus one diplomatic uh, points from his burgers. From? In the, oh, yeah. yeah. So you need to fix yeah. that, lower their, lower their influence. But, but, but this mm. is minor and I think out of the yeah. three nations we've uh, looked at so far, Diviet seems... Yeah, he's using the yeah. policies at least. Yeah, he's just doing a lot of stuff great. Mm. And the option to... All right, let's check where yeah, his, ally uh, with Chimasu, is. Just eat Ching is there for you as well. You have mm. that option. I'm he has just... the victory card Oof, on Bengal. Yeah. So you're not Tall order. That. Tall order. Uh, ah. But it's only two. Pr no, but. It's only two he's... provinces, so you might be able to buy it, but. No, no, no. Iced would never sell. Um, on the other hand, uh, Daivirt blocks three provinces that give him the Bengalese missions for plus five uh, permanent morale. Mm. Maybe you can strike a deal over that. Yeah, but I, I know Ice doesn't play for score, but he also knows that uh, selling I think that's the only really reason really frowned upon. Yeah. All right, okay. I mean, I think that the only on. reason he holds off on the Nepal, uh, Nepal formation because Ooh, he's Nepalese why is culture. Not any of this? Uh, be right back, by the way. I definitely think you should he be converting this he he convert. Yeah. He this... also needs to make a lot of uh, buildings. He has a lot of good buildings still. Yeah. He yes. doesn't have the money for the buildings. So, yeah. Well, you know, if you you get a lot of money fighting China, and you should definitely use that income to build production buildings everywhere. It's. It's a bit late now, though. A bit late? What is that supposed to mean? Uh, I mean, you can't get the money from Ming anymore because they're so small. Oh, well, you can still get money from Wu. I think it's still... Yeah, that's decent. Yeah, but you can, you can get several thousand from Ming at the start yeah. of the game. Oh, he still doesn't have the gold mine. He doesn't. From Ming. No. Oh my god, why? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't anyone? I think it's, it's it's he he wanted to cut me off from me. All right, let's. Uh, yeah. Unless I'm, anyone sorry. has any more advice other than converting shit and getting the gold mine and building and buildings, kill let's players. go Fight. to kill Malacca. Kill Ching. Kill Ching. <laughs> I don't also, know if I'd advise kill Ching though, because if they kill Ching and they infight, uh, Bengal's just gonna roll over all three of them. So, Hugboxy might be the only solution they have now until they get stronger. Ally VJ and then kill Ching. Okay, that's a better advice. Yep. Malacca had awesome. some really bad wars because uh, I'm pretty sure he lost against Japan. Uh, he did. And uh, yeah, he's still definitely not dead. He's in a very good position. He got the gold mine finally. And the he gold is mine is developed pro properly. Little behind in tech. Why he, are people not hand. using the plus one mill? Uh, yeah, but when you like, have crown land and your estates are loyal, you definitely need to use the plus one bonuses from your estates. Uh, he's not using any. Uh, what the hell? Yeah, uh, he one doesn't. Point he hasn't is finished. Uh, very, uh, very valuable in this game. He hasn't game, finished what? Especially in multiplayer. Hasn't finished. Any idea, Rook? Oh, so he, he doesn't, doesn't finish yet. It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. because he's so far behind. Yeah. You need uh, to catch up uh, a little bit. He also yes. had, he had some huge. You need uh, to catch up is a horrible advice because I'm pretty sure he is aware. Yeah. Yeah. But you just, if, if just you, catch up. Bro. If you are behind having fought player wars, then that is legitimate, and I approve. Oh it's, yeah, he's uh, he's fought the Japan for the entire session, I think. Yeah, yeah. Good job. I'm sorry it didn't pan out. Uh, well, you know, if again, you, if you, 
There is yeah. there's a lot of turmoil in Eastern Asia, and there's gonna be some shit going down here. And he's not dead, so I have, I have no worries about him. I, I I don't think he's dead in any sense. I think he can recover. Yeah. Japan. Uh, Check his allies. Like is depending like on how much job? Vichy uh, invests into him, he can bounce back. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. in the chat with them, and uh, I think the deal they have is VJ like protects him, and then he feeds trade into VJ like all game. That so... sounds like a total Leo deal. That's. I mean, the trade has to go through Bengal, so. Well, I think I mean, he's just gonna subsidize him. Is the deal? I, okay. I can also just send my stuff because VJ has picked trade. Yeah. Okay. That frees me up to pick something else. Ah, uh, hackboxing, shameful. Very. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I don't think he's dead. I, I, I think he's doing well. I just don't. Yeah, understand. there, there's a lot of play left in his nation. You need uh, to move the capital again to your island because your fleet is your strength. Your armies aren't your strength. Like your armies are pretty bad. Move your capital to your islands somewhere inaccessible. Remove all forts on the mainland, and make sure no one lands. Like, and you win every war. Like, because no one's gonna have a stronger navy than you, hopefully. Uh, yeah. Right now, that's not the case. Uh, I mean, he's behind. Yeah, he's he's a little behind, but uh, they, he still outmatches Japan, I think. Like, Japan has two more heavies, but he has half the lights, so. I check naval morale. Uh, where do you check naval morale again? Here? In that window on right. um, the left. In, side. That li in the little screen you're in. Yes, that on the left hand on side. The left, side. left bottom. Um, and there's a, there is a ship with a. Trumpet Trump. Oh, 2.8. Okay, 2.88. Yeah, so a little more uh, in Japan, but I, yeah. I don't think it's lost, you know? Uh, Especially nope. with VJ backing him, I don't think he's in a bad position. I just think he needs to play yeah, it no, I smarter. Think I think he needs to move his capital to the islands. Like move his capital to the islands and consolidate the islands. Don't, you know, move, don't try and hold mainland. I, but... Capital is only war score regardless, so... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, because he lost the last war due to war score, because they occupied this, because Dai Viet was in the war as well. They occupied this uh... and they stabbed him, I think. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure from what I heard. Yeah, and, also, and also, when you when you fight humans, try to be in control of the... Always try to be in control of the war goal. So if, you're, if you see that Japan is coming for you, uh, maybe try to declare on something in Brunei. Yeah. Uh, the Shimazu province is there and occupy it with some troops and block it off. And just try to do taking war score even if you get occupied in uh, your uh, mainland stuff. Alright, off to Bengal. I have one last trick. If, oh. you, when, if you have a huge naval superiority and you're struggling with catching other people's navies, you could detach light ships. Uh, for the high movement, uh, engage with your light ships to catch their navy, and then have your heavies coming in after. Oof, that's smart. And yep. uh, we also forgot to check his victory card. It's uh, in Ayatuya, so that should not be too challenging. Yeah, that just means if you have a deal with Diviet regarding those stuff, then uh, break that deal. Hmm. Yeah. The tag. Yeah, definitely shouldn't be hard to yeah. get that victory card. Okay, let's go over to what is what Ice is presenting us. He is presenting us with 140 force limits. Uh, He's uh, presenting us farming forts. A good uh, estates. Yeah, well, can you can you imagine Ice playing the estates correctly? <laughs> and policy and the policies he made. Hmm. I was definitely expecting us not to have the plus one bonuses. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but yeah. Why, I why don't you farm Nepal yet, Dyst? Uh, because I want the plus five morale first. Because I'm greedy like that. Did you remove? Didn't Bengal have uh, like a minus dev cost? And I... uh, yeah, but that's that's the tr that's uh, building cost now. Yeah, that's building cost instead. I mean, Bengal is actually better for building my nation up, and it also gives way more uh, income. So I might stay there for a while. Yeah. Until I feel like switching to a Nepal, but think, that's just I think greedy you should uh, have the Nepal switch ready. Oh, you do already. I, I already have. I just and finished then, my culture. You know, when a death war comes, so, you swap to Nepal. I think that's the play. Uh, I don't think I can yeah. do it in a war. Yeah, um, yeah, you can't flip in a war. So I, I'm not saying his neighbors should uh, declare on him before he can do that. But uh, Leo, if I'm, you're listening, 
if you see it coming, basically flip to Nepal, based, I think is the play. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about your country? Uh, I mean, Delhi kind of died, so I got my free uh, Witchery card card. there. card? Yeah. I just went in afterwards, after he left, and then got it. Nice. Fourth place in score, uh, you're gaining... Uh... Yeah, and I still need to collect oh. another 700 from that card. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Not that much AI left, but uh, the nations in the yeah. east don't look that strong. Yeah, you're in like fifth or sixth place in monthly score. Yeah. Also, I'm not pretty close to uh, to uh, integrate the uh, thing now. Integrate, and yeah. And that's like 200 death, I think. And then Mong Mon Quang is another 250 or so death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. A great power in number five, even though you have. Yeah, you have 450. Dev in subjects. Yeah, in subjects that I still need to collect. So. Yeah, yeah. So when you grab those, you're gonna be on par with VJ, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, almost. Almost. <laughs> pretty much, almost, kinda maybe. Uh, he also has a punch up and such, so yeah. you have to account for that. But I still have more AI as well. I mean, I can go up and check its eye soon. Yeah, and uh, you also have the entire east. Yeah, and I also just started making uh, textile manufacturers. That's gonna bring in a lot of Yeah, cash. in India that's just insane because you have so much silk here, don't you? Yo, yeah. yeah, a lot of silk. I need to get some trade ships over to you guys. Do you? <laughs> that's so much money just laying around. Yeah, this, this, this trade nodes in India are insane. It's just like so <clears> many good... Um, Trade goods, and fucking tropical wood everywhere though, that's just annoying. And religion is Hindu. Yeah. Yeah. And he pretty much converted almost everything so far, so that's pretty yeah, big. Yeah, because I have uh, religious, so I convert everything to Hindu. He, yeah, right. Oh, nice. And for someone who never plays uh, India, why do you go Hindu over, for example, Sikh? I did it for the mana generation from the uh, events you can get. Mm. Oh, yeah. About the rollers, but, right? but because you, if I remember correctly, you could do like Hindu, uh, Sikh, Shia. And... But I should actually have stayed Sunni. Uh, because I, I got a bit of bad uh, events in the early game. And also, I have some missions that I can only accomplish if I'm uh, Sunni. Yeah. yeah. Um, one question Are you going to go down on Rajputs or ignore them? What's the and I ignore them. I mean, I okay. haven't taken, so I, I can get a few of them, but I'm not gonna go for the fire damage. And I also didn't take the discipline from the government reform. Okay. I don't think it's worth it, because it's, yeah. it's just a, it's not that many troops you get. Yeah. I can uh, get, what like, what are their modifiers? It, it, right now, it's like a bit of morale, some uh, faster <laughs> drilling, and a cheaper reinforcement cost, and then you can add another 10% fire yeah. damage and 5% discipline to them. Yeah, through the reforms. I mean, it's not bad, but you can only have a small amount, like 10 regiments, yeah, not gonna I, I make that. that mm -hmm. You can have 10 out of your 144 segments, so that's not significant at all. Yeah, it scales with the amount of uh, crown land that the rush boots hold. I yeah. think you can push it up to 50% of your force limit being rush boots, if, you, if they have 100%. Yeah, but as I get closer yeah. to absolutism, I want to get it for myself yeah. anyways, mm. so it's just going to get worse over time. Are we ready to switch to VJ? Yeah. Hmm. First time Leo's not here, so now we can uh, gossip. Yeah, talk shit about him. Look at this shit economy. Garbage. Yeah, it's not even the best in the world. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, no. Who took him? I mean, it's close to my economy. I did. Damn. He was doing so well. I, I make three. I make three ducats more than him. Oh, big. <laughs> yeah, and he has. Mm -hmm. Twice my force limit? Yeah, two and a half times my force limit. Yes, at 200. Force limit. Uh, his, uh, his morale isn't sick. But he, yeah. Um, he loses a lot of money from uh, Gujarat because all the trade money that's produced in Gujarat just flows away. Mm. Is he not collecting? Yeah, so far. Yeah. Uh, it's only like eight flowing out, but. Yeah, yeah why, that's not, the thing that... why not collect there? Gujarat is a shit trade node in the sense that it flows into three different trade nodes, so it's very, very hard to lock down. 
if you want to lock down Indian trade node, you need like Hormuz trade node that only flows into one further trade node. Hmm. That's something you can monopolize. Or Which you can can't be monopolized. It's so hard. Yeah. Also, is it QQ, Fatter? Uh, Sorry. Shit. Oh. Yeah, QQ. No. Yeah, QQ yeah. is pushing trade out of it and kill wise. So. Yeah. yeah. Not by a huge amount. I think it'd still be worth collecting here more than having a merchant in Malacca. But... Yeah, but did. Do you though? What do I know? Uh, mm. He is collecting 24 in uh, the start. Mm. Sorry? So if he moves his trade capital there and starts pushing trade into it. No, man, just uh, put the merchant Oh, in, just having move. a. Yeah. Mm. Not moving your trade capital because I think it would be worth to move the merchant from Doha uh, to Malacca. He has there. five merchants. Is he? Yeah, he's done trade. He has trade, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, then maybe since he has five, he could do the Malacca. I definitely think like if you just collect here from Malacca that would be better. But uh or from the I would even say the Dobar one. Mm, I don't know cuz Malacca no, was wait, 0. No, 0. It, 0.08 his uh yeah. Yeah, but he gets trade steering from chaining merchants. Mm. Yeah, but he gets the same in Dob, doesn't he? That kind Oh of yeah, it's Dob, it's still yeah. 2, yeah. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's on the other Yeah, side. I don't know either. It's it looks really solid. Maybe he could be efficient and earn three, four, five extra ducats, but which would make him take over me at first yeah, place. Yeah, that, so that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out how he can earn a couple more ducats. <laughs> All right, QQ. We didn't miss uh, oh, already. Did oh, you wanted to. No, no. I just want to say Leo is super far ahead on anything. His victory cards are done. He is yeah. first in score. Mm. Uh, I already hmm? checked his victory yeah. his card. His ruler could be better. Hmm? His ruler could be better. It's a two zero four. It's a real infidel on the phone. Oof. And he's kind of young. Yeah, how'd that happen? I think he was just unlucky. Yeah. Well, that sucks. No, he he really needed that trade efficiency and building cost. Yeah. Gonna, <laughs> yeah, he, he he goes into the next policy group, stacking building cost and just gotta watch what's important. Abusing the shit out of this mod. Yeah, his. Wait, um... does VJ have a uh, building cost in nationalities? No, it doesn't. Don't uh, think so. No. Yeah, he's uh, built production in half his country basically, so he's not falling behind on buildings. Uh, manpower yeah. building still low. Unit cap. I think he's paying off uh, a lot of loans. That's why he's a little behind. Yeah, uh, he, he got like 10,000 10, loans. But when he yeah, pays off why... those loans and when he starts building buildings, he's going to skyrocket. In but it's everything. Leo. Why didn't he just bankrupt three I don't know. times? It was weird. Three. Yeah, that's Probably. inefficient. It would have paid or off. Out of character. No manufacturing. Yeah, but Leo is the guy that bankrupts to build universities. So. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I, I just, uh, yeah, I, I definitely think, oh, whoops, uh, probably would have been better to bankrupt build and No, no, build. no. You don't think so? It's, it's, with, an, like, it's, with, it's an ethical, and he he is doing good on tech and then With manpower and, uh, buildings and unit cap buildings available, you don't think it would have been better? I think he's so certain about his hug box and his diplo spot that he is just going to have high prosperity hmm. and just build them over time without having to ever need them until late game. Yeah, he's lost prosperity in a bunch of provinces though, I wonder why. Yeah, yeah, but as long as he has some, if he bankrupts he's going to lose prosperity everywhere. Yeah. Alright, let's move to QQ. Take it away, Okta. I'm still trying. I, uh, uh, Q -A -R, that's the one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Income is 26. Yeah. Hello. Force limit mm. is 70. That's good. At least I guess he has quantity. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the only but, idea. Yeah, uh, but, but this is back to what I was saying about mm. uh, uh, the Indonesian uh, Malacca. If you're falling behind on everything except military stuff, because you've been fighting players, that is legitimate. That's fine. Yeah, and he that has is, been that, fighting That makes you a good person, game. and I... Yeah, and I respect you for that. So, uh... He's a good gamer. He, he did. Basically, he, you have a reason to fall behind. 
Yeah, and uh, you uh. took control of you. I, I disagree slightly with the decision to hug box with Ottomans early on. Or wait, yeah, he and Ottomans were friends, right? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't call it hug boxing, it's more of a subject state, but. Yeah, yeah, well, I guess it's, it's more of a subject state at this point. He survived yeah. where all of the other Ottoman neighbors died, so good on him, you know? Yeah, but I think that maybe if the other Ottoman neighbors had coordinated and coordinated with him, then uh, we could be very close to look at a room right now instead of a nah. QQ. I don't know. Uh, well, you know, he's still not just QQ. He can form Persia as soon as he's not a tribe. How does that whole yeah, network work? Does he, he have to finish he's the reforms? Dead. Uh, he he is one month tick away from being able to form Persia. Okay, yeah, that's, that's gonna be sick then. That's gonna yeah. increase his uh, power a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's why he was so sad that we ended on December instead of January because he wanted to be Persia at the end. But yeah, um, he killed Timurids. Now his problem is that uh, VJ is pushing pretty hard into here, so. There's that, but he also has all of Arabia for himself, I think, so he's definitely in a very good spot. Yeah, QQ is doing very, QQ is doing very fine, and he's also the buffer between the two uh, superpowers in this game. Um, he doesn't have his uh, victory card yet that's held by the Timurids still, which... Yeah, I just guess clean he, he that went, up later. Yeah, I think he yeah, went he, for Persia Formation he, first over getting the victory yeah, card, and, which and is that is fine, and he... He killed his rival in the area, making yeah. sure he's not coming back next session. Yeah, you can grab the victory card when the truth yeah, is yeah, first, so pick that up later. Good, good call. Just like, don't let it fall behind too much, because it should be your first priority now. Um, <sighs> one of his priorities should be getting the monarch points from the estates. He's missing out on admin uh, and Diplo. Yeah, he's missing on uh, admin. And, and he's uh, behind on both techs, so it would have helped him a lot. Yeah, but he's low yeah. on Kronland as well, so... Yeah, but... Lowish. I think if you take the admin right away, it won't hurt you to go on 18, but, you know, whatever. Just sit on it, buy it once back, and maybe death push a bit, and then yeah. you're done. I mean, you can sit on that if you don't have positive ticking autonomy, it's fine. Also, you can you also pretty much always the... afford plus one advisors, no matter in what situation you are. Yeah, uh, have advisors. This goes out to uh... all. I, I yeah, but I've noticed this in your players all over this season. If always have level one advisors. If you're losing money, if it's your slow decline into bankruptcy, uh, you need to run advisors. Yeah. Uh, it, and if, and if, if it pushes you to bankruptcy, then you bankruptcy build uh, because you need advisors. Yeah, um, uh, he has a couple rebels to take care of, but after that he can lower uh, army maintenance and keep more. Keep I think uh, and, uh, has to uh, bankrupt anyway. Hmm? Look at his interest towards his income. Yeah, like, his interest yeah, is over thirty-three percent of his income goes into interest. So uh, yeah, I guess this is our main tip to QQ. I uh, would uh, focus on doing the bankruptcy build, especially seeing as you're yeah. allied to Ottomans. And yeah, you're safe. allied to yeah. Ottomans. Next session you should bankrupt. Uh, How much can he even loan? Uh, he uh, can do 32 loans, and he's a and He can loan 6,000 more. Yeah, but he also has to sit And, and if, he, if he lowers the interest rate, which is he is very far away from now that I'm looking at it. So what does he have, 5,000? Yeah. Uh, could, yeah, but he could do some stuff and get it up to 6, um, probably. But you also got to take account for how much that's going to cost him across the 8 years that it's going to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So the thing is, he has I... so much debt, but, but, so much interest with income, he's never gonna climb out of that hole. Yeah, but as his, he has several, he has, uh, he, once his buildings finishes, he has pretty decent buildings, he could build uh, so his have, own couple increase. He has 18 years for bankruptcy at this pace, so he could realistically spend like 2,000 ducats and... Yeah, he, uh, I, he should spend like three and a half. Yeah, I think if he spend two and a half to be safe and uh, you're still gonna keep those buildings and you know you can obviously embrace institution as well and then you, you just write down what time you built everything and uh, you know it's seven years so make sure your buildings yeah. don't get demolished and as soon as seven years passes after your buildings were built click the bankruptcy button and you're good and and run advisor steering it yeah uh, spend all yeah look at what Leo is saying about bankruptcy building yeah Leo 
made the guide for that, I think. And yeah, and also te test it in single player twice before doing it in multiplayer but because if you do it properly, it's gonna it's gonna get not only get you out of the hole but make you significantly more powerful. And it's only seven years, so it's not. Yeah, but it, it, it's going to be 12, 13 years of hell. Yeah. Uh, uh, hell, I don't know, because they can get his ally to Ottomans, Ottomans can spare a 20 stack to just kill his re rebels. Clear his rebels and shit, yeah. yeah. Like, Ottoman has, but like, yeah, 300 yeah, yeah, unit Q -Q, caps, you, so... QQ, well done on killing your main rival in the area. That's priority number one. Uh, you're forming Persia, that's priority number one. Uh, sorry, number two. And now you get to sit back, fix your nation, and the way to fix your nation is bankruptcy. And prosper. All right. And prosper. Let's go to kill them. I always just get dumbfounded when I'm in Africa because I don't know what to say. I don't know how to play African nations. It looks to me like he's doing really good. <laughs> well, uh, he he has an income of seventy six, which is very solid. Yeah. Uh, his force limit is seventy, which is solid. He's running level uh, one advisors on. 20 he has a level almost. no he, he he has one level one advisor he has one level three and one level two his advisory lineup is fine i think i would spend more on advisors i I, I i would maybe hire the half cost uh mill advisor oh yeah he has a the, half cost mill advisor definitely yeah that, and that, i pushed that up to like four and you're still earning 10 ducats a month and you go like yeah yeah but you you can make an argument for keeping it at, at two or three and just being rich and building up buildings. Well, he can still build buildings with this uh, amount of income, but yeah. Um, yeah, he, yeah. Uh, he's not using the estates properly. He's missing the one for mill, he's missing the one for admin, and I'm pretty sure he's missing, yeah. Uh, where's his capital? Uh, he can. You can get a lot more from estates if you just collect uh, those. His capital. Uh, is... Yeah, but. Uh, capital. It's still in Kilbo. I I just definitely think you need to figure out the states better because you can get the three points a month and mm -hmm. you know it's fifteen thirty five that's a lot of wasted points mm -hmm. so far. Like yeah. do the math, you know. What do you think about his idea picks? Um, uh, fine. I I know it, there's uh, a lot. I know there's a lot of people here who doesn't like. Uh, having third ID group as not military. If he's uh, diplomatically in a good position, then it's totally fine. It's like, yeah. I don't know about Africa. He, so he, he's he's not going to fight Congo, I assume. Yeah, and uh, he has, uh, I think he's made a deal with the Ottomans to eat the Horn of Africa, so I think he's good. Uh, yeah, un unless some crazy European says, oh, I want the Cape of Good Hope and uh, all yeah, the free well, he already kicked out country. Portugal. I'm pretty sure this was Portugal last mm -hmm. uh, podcast. So he already kicked out, yeah. kicked out yeah, Portugal okay. from here. So I'm, I think I... he's doing good. Yeah, there, 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 I can see in the islands next to Congo that there's some other European that's kind of eyeing up the African coast. Oh my. Uh, but. And Portugal still has uh, St. Helen. But... Yeah. Which is where we're going to send Napoleon. Yep. So uh, we need to get that province to France so that we can exile him to it. Or you can just exile Napoleon to Portugal, that would be the ultimate insult. Can send him to Mexico. Mm. You know what to do with such people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, there's actually, there's a, just to say, there's wait, actually an event if you're revolutionary that you get uh, Napoleon, regardless of mm. what country you are. Uh, his, he's uh, his, victory card, his hmm? victory card is held by the AI and it's really yeah, easy to grab, clean. so you should get a lot more score. Where is his score right now? Uh, just hold over uh, and you see he has a ticking score of 0 0.18, which is horrible. Yeah, but, so uh, grab the victory card and you're going to be top 10, I think. So, you know, that's that's something. All right, ready, go, Congo. Yeah. Right. What's going on here? He has open poly. Oh, but yeah. nothing important. That's well, it. Doesn't again, matter. War exhaustion. Yeah, yeah but he doesn't have war exhaustion. Helpful. And uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't institution have the institution spread. He has oh, all he the has institutions. It. Huh. Uh, so that's clean. Uh, income is 
48. That's a little low, but I guess that's okay. Again, he has one advisors across the board and he's making 20 a month. I would probably go a little higher with advisors. And he has a half cost male advisor as well. Push that up to like three. You're paying five a month and you got three points. It's pretty significant. Like deving mill yeah. is important. And even know. with all the penalties we have. Yeah. And you have full prosperity in your country, so you should probably be deving mill, yeah. His king is also amazing, so if possible. Nice for him. I would uh, try and fire the golden age. Yeah, and, uh, actually, you should be. In, with the spot you're in, you should be looking at. Uh, Oh, but he needs the, he needs uh, Age of Reformation stuff. He needs to two of them, um, two more to Golden Age. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If he should try and get the, these and fire it, I'm pretty sure he can convert another nation. Yeah, if yeah he hmm. if or if he converts himself. Yeah, yeah that's if the he thing. Like himself we want to the event, and then he can convert his uh, vessel. Yeah, then he can force convert that one, and uh, he would probably be in a really good spot. Yeah. Um, at this point, uh, maybe like fetishes can switch for free into any religion if they want. Uh, no. Uh, uh, you just have to own a province of that yeah, religion, need, yeah. and you, you have need to, to own religion. a province of the religion you want to switch to. Which is like, if you do diplo, it's pretty much you can. Yeah, Congo. If you want to be Catholic or Protestant, I can sell you one of the islands, and uh, you can be a Catholic yeah. or. Protestant. I was thinking like Protestant, Hindu. Yeah, yeah. and then you, and, and then, you can, then you can force convert your vassal, uh, convert your provinces, golden age, golden age, and, and dev the yeah. shit out of this. I mean, he could even go Shinto. Yeah, it would be the and, best. Uh, you could maybe even look at fighting Mali. I I know I talk a lot about fighting, and you guys are uh, probably having Mali, has, Mali, Mali has gold too. mines. Mali has oh. gold mines. That's gonna buy his victory. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, in Mali too. yeah, and I know you guys are friends, but friends are kind of. I, I don't know. I just I I. It's not in my nature to have good friends for a long time. Okay. Alright, are we moving on to Mali? Tag Mali. What's going on here? Uh, he has missions. a bunch of gold. Yeah, but you don't click those yet. I know, I just, I get like OCD and I really want to click the button when it's highlighted. Yeah, but don't do it. <laughs> he has a good king, he has... I did it. I had to, sorry. He, he is still also making a little bit too much money to be running those advisors. Yeah, they they're all running a lot of like thirty five a month or thirty a month, and then they have one advisors across the board. He yeah. doesn't seem to have any half cost ones, but still, I would. Get... Yeah, but you could probably get one from your estates if you're at least a little bit lucky. Yeah. Just press the mission. Oh, why didn't you? I, I don't know. Because I'm stupid. Don't worry about yeah. it. But yeah, click the mission, and you're probably gonna get the half cost one. <laughs> Um, uh, income is 97, which is very good. Chunky. And uh, Spain's uh, on a downturn now, so he should have a pretty easy time getting into Northern e Africa. Even with 25 ducats <laughs> from gold, you're still not getting inflation, which is super solid. Mm. Uh, if uh, you have so much spare income, I would fix the fort line a little bit. Maybe I'm not sure if this yeah, is fix the best. Up, th yeah, fix up your fort line. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the best setup to have. Like, yeah. Oh, it, it, uh, maybe maybe I'm wrong. It's hills. Yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah. yeah, you're actually just wrong here. I know. Isn't there some nice jungles here somewhere? No, it's all savannas. Yeah, his fort line is yeah, solid. Yeah, his fort line is perfect. Yeah. I'm just full of shit. Yeah, mm. uh, he could have one more uh, fort in the jungle next to his other fort. Uh, yeah, this isn't this... Just to, because there's, uh, with how the provinces are in that area, you might get some nice... In, no, directly next to it. Here? In, oh, here. Oh, yeah, or, yeah. Or, yeah. So if you have both, then uh, you could get some weird interactions where if someone sieges one of them, they... They overlap. Yeah, yeah they overlap and annoying stuff happens. Yeah, and uh, how are his buildings? Yeah, buildings are fine. There's... Nothing that's like 13 or more in income. Sorry, 16 or more. Uh, yeah. Uh, manpower wise, focus building. On building manpower and. Uh, no, yeah, no, but his manpower buildings are good. All the good ones are built, so that's super clean. 
unit uh, buildings force limit building at least. Yeah, force limit buildings the is the next thing to do. Uh, yeah, just improve the nation as much as possible before I come and grab it. He's got a really good idea set. I don't think he's under any threat from the Europeans, and you know, like I said, Spain's on the downturn, so. That's probably going to be a good time to punch in there. Yeah, and he, he is tech 11 in mill, or he can click tech 11. Yeah. Uh, he has his uh, score or victory card, and I'm pretty sure he's still pretty high on score. Oh, he's yeah. never... What the f Does he not have the victory he... card? I was pretty sure he No, did. he does not. Oh, uh, it's, it's Portugal. Portugal. It's on Portugal, yeah. Uh, Molly, if you want to kick Portugal out of there, you ought to do that, stop and I will Stop help doing you. public diplo. <laughs> This is next level podcast. Yeah, no, wait. Just kick Portugal out of there and win the game. Yeah, you get a lot to score, but you know. It is what it is. People yeah, do it, their own uh, diplo. Alright, what do we do? Would next? it be worth for him to go to uh, and form uh, a. Sorry? Oh, would yeah, it, that's a cool he, tip. Hey, Molly, could, he go form, uh, could, could he go and form Andalusia if Spain and Portugal is weak? Mm, yeah, that would be a pretty strong tag. He's, he's already Sunni, I think. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but but Molly, if, you, if, if you form Andalusia this season, I'm going to give you a gold star. Uh, Andalusia is a really I strong think... tag, and I think you only just need to switch to Berber culture, which he already has some of it, so he can already start. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure Tunis yeah. can... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Go do that. You'll get a gold star from me if you successfully for form Andalusia. All right. What's next? Ottomans. Mm. Or Russia. Stupid or Russia, I guess. We can just get oh, Russia. I don't mind. <laughs> 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 all right. So. Turkey. Uh. What's there to say? 216 force limit and 154 gold per month. Yeah, um, pretty chunky. Uh, oh. uh, insane army quality, kill, have killed or vassalized his regional neighbors. Uh, he is crusade, he's jihading Russia next session, so that's going to clean up a bunch of stuff. <laughs> uh,. Never trust he should uh, he, he should upgrade his uh, diplo advisor. It was only little one. Uh, yeah, but he's focusing on uh, building a lot of buildings, and uh, I think that's uh, probably smart for him because he's ultra wide, so he doesn't need to. Yeah, much. and uh, he he's also suffering plus fifty percent uh, advisor cost. Yeah, from um, ah, governing cap. Yeah, so a yeah. level two advisor cost eight point five. So I like think for him, it's off. probably better to just build all these buildings that he is and he's gonna power spike pretty pretty bad uh oh his crown land is no but oh variants why do you do this to me what if Seven he if he, if he clicks two more mill ids then he gets minus uh, building cost oh yeah wait yeah. What, what where, where uh, from uh, policies Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Well, he probably didn't read into the policies. Yeah, yeah. so he could have built all that at minus 10%. But... It's, it's not true. like it matters it's also not getting the... big. Yeah, but it's like 600 ducats still. Hmm. He's a top on income. His victory yeah. card is... Uh, on uh, Syria. Yeah, so he got that. Yeah, he started with it and killed... Uh... He is most likely getting his next one on QQ. Mm. Or Russia. <coughs> Shut up. <coughs> uh, yeah. Oh. Actually, yeah, it's good if uh, it's yeah, it's going to be on Russia. Like, Isn't it usually on your uh, allies? Uh, yeah, but not really. All right, let's let's just let's just hope and pray it's not on Russia. I think it's like a sixty-five percent chance to get it on Russia, sixty percent on QQ. And 5% on Austria. <coughs> or right. maybe on Misha. Go ahead and bully my nation, Octa. Um. I'm literally warning you that you're going to get victory card and killed by variants. Well, you know, that's uh, no, good you, to know. No, no, that it's going to be your Serb nature to just sell him the victory card and then... Um, I don't know. Perform we'll Palacio in it, on him for the rest of the game. So, let's just start with the good stuff. I got my victory card, so... You know, that, that's, all that, that's all that really matters. 
the rest is kind of irrelevant. I fought the hordes, and I'm telling you, everyone needs to load the save and fight the hordes as Russia, because Iced made them like Skynet fucking AI. They're 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 rushing you with like a hundred percent cav armies, and they're just destroying you. I I swear to God. If you fight them anywhere, if you like step on the flatlands, they have six maneuver generals and they're there, bam, instant dead. It was uh, it was a challenge. I ended up winning by just like farming them in perm in all the fucking forest areas. I, I was I was literally gonna get deleted otherwise because they occupied every single flatland province that I had and they just sat there. <laughs> um, you're at ten inflation. You're hardly making money. Yeah. What's your corruption? Oh, that, that's not an issue. Mm. Yeah, corruption is not an issue, at least, but everything else is. You How have uh, 1,400 in loans. I am uh, also, I don't have the proper setup, but pretty sure I'm missing Diplo or Admin. Oh, do I have all three no. of them now? Oh, no, that's all good. Look at me. Uh, mm. But, yeah. 99% mm. burger influence, that's pretty cool. I've had pretty bad uh, luck with the rulers as well. And, it... uh, and it's going to jump up more. Is it? Yeah, yeah, you have an event that gives you minus 10 that's going to run out in 44. Oh, yikes. Well, that's uh, a, that might be a problem. Oh no, they're, they're, losing, that... they're losing another 10 by then, so it, it's mm. fine. It's fine if they have 100 influence if they're still above 50 loyalty. Yeah, and yeah, you have but them he, way above if, 50, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, but if he's ever looking at getting rid of some policies, then they're yeah. just yeah. going to stay there. Um, I think his uh, focus would be like conquering the mo uh, most northern provinces of Uzbek, like a snake along the northern yeah, Uzbek that, that line, was the plan. so he can get his uh, fr uh, nomadic frontier running. The plan was to yeah. just conquer all of this and pop out like 12 nomadic frontiers as soon as uh, mm -hmm. I got Russia. But I, I tried to do that and I literally almost lost the war because they, they're, and, all, they're uh, all allied to each other. Like all the hordes are allied to each other. Once <laughs> you stabilize your uh, nation even more, upgrade the trade center in uh, St. Petersburg. Yeah, and, I'm uh, thinking of switching uh, capital there too. Yeah, yeah, no, b b b b b first upgrade the center so it goes to three instead of the two. I know. Yeah, and then dev it to like thirty, and then move the couple. Mm, that's smart. Yeah. Because you, that way you don't. Actually, sorry. First, upgrade the trade center, then. Dev it to I think twenty-one, yeah. and then and, click the upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... maybe even thirty. Uh, actually, I'm going to recommend you dev it to thirty. Thirty-one. Because. No, 30, because that's when the insane cost penalty comes into play. Mm. And then you get nine more and probably some missions for buildings and you'll set a 41 dev in your capital, making it really cheap to get it to 50 for the super late game. Yeah, definitely going to do that because I just clicked Russia like uh, a month before we ended the game. So the, yeah. na the nation was significantly poorer because Muscovy is just fucking garbage. You get like 400 <laughs> government capacity and... Yeah, it's it's really bad. I, I if anything, at least I've learned how to play Russia properly now after all my mistakes, and I might like write a little guide or something to for Muscovy players for future sessions. I think yeah, it's hard really... integrating the subjects too early. You, if you're Muscovy, you still need a lot of subjects to keep the uh, crown man in check yeah. because yeah. it helps you. And mm -hmm. uh, you got lucky with Poland dying. With Minute Poland one. suiciding, you mean? It, it still wasn't lucky because he sent. Uh, yeah, I, I I already talked about this in two podcasts, but yeah. yeah, he he fought pretty hard, so it was it was hard to recover after that. But anyway, uh, uh you're at like eight hundred dev, right? Oh, eight hundred blank. Yeah. Yeah. Any advice you want to give? I I like advising people to fight players, so fight I think Ottomans. you should. Yeah, look at uh, a... Oh, you need to finish up your victory card, Kosh. Finish it up? What do you mean? I have the entire state. Why is it red? Mm, I just conquered it like a minute before the session ended. I think you need to yeah. core it? Yeah, it's oh. still coring. It to be oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so you have your victory card. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and as you said to me in private, uh, you're looking to fight Ottomans next session. <laughs> I... Don't know if I think that's a good idea, but if you're going for that, that's your call. Oh yeah, this uh, what 
83k Russian chads with 13k reinforcements is just gonna roll the Ottomans like into the grave. Yep. What was your manpower and force limit like? Uh, uh, he has 130 uh, manpower and 120 force limit. So it's I have no yeah. limits yet though, so when I finally get out of the crippling economic depression, I could probably spike a little and bit And you also have a lot of food provinces. So... Yeah, so when I start building manpower buildings, it's uh, it's gonna be significant, and uh, yeah. you know hopefully I can also dev a little bit this game. I think I've clicked the dev button like twice, but you know we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, Sweden. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sweden, as he told me, took over Sweden from when Denmark gave up and left the server. Mm -hmm. That was weird. Uh, yeah, that was really weird, and I had not gone into Norway because I didn't want to be mean to players. So uh, he's missing the plus one diplo, but he has the other estates properly. Um, I think these are good ideas for Sweden because he already has really high quality armies. Yeah. So offensive is probably really good to take with that. I think the main issue that the Sweden player pointed out is he has no expansion pass. Oh yeah, he's just boxed in by Prussia yeah. and me, and that's why he's uh, been renting from the theory uh, to Ottomans during the entire French war. I'm pretty sure he's trying to get some sort of an alliance with Otto to attack me. But, uh, or Prussia. I don't think so, because Prussia is uh, allied to me, and they're pretty... Oh, you meant, or attack Prussia. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. I think he'd... Yeah, uh, he he took over a nation in a shitty position, and he didn't realize how shit it was. Yeah, because he's really boxed uh, in. Yeah, it's boxed in. He. I was nice enough and to give him cola though, so he can convert the orthodox. So. And I... also, he he can't really. There's no. There's very few diplo ways out of it because you he couldn't join you against Prussia, mm. and he. He can't join Prussia against to... me either, so, you know. Yeah, right. He can maybe offer his assistance to Ottomans. That's Austria about, right? or Ottomans or something, but... Yeah. Nation setup, he has an income of 50, which is much better than I thought. And yeah, he's I... doing really well for what he was sent with, like, his army is decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he also have a force limit of 50 and without having quantity, which is super solid. Mm -hmm. His troops are high quality. He's yeah, that's a that's a solid. Uh, a little behind on buildings. He's using policies, which is good. And uh, yeah, he's missing the diplo bonus from estates for no reason because he has the crown land. Yeah, he's not going to suffer any penalty for giving this. So I I would definitely give it. Yeah, and then he could dev uh, copper barrier or something. Right. But yeah, yeah so as we said, he's he boxed in, but he he might play a relevant role in upcoming wars. Oh yeah, Russia. where's his um, victory card? Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ambitious. Yeah, uh, Prussia is uh, the European superpower. That was, that was good to know. Uh, yeah, Prussia doing really well. He's a little behind in income, but uh, his army is definitely. Much Look stronger. at those generals. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's pretty strong. But I don't agree with his idea picks. He should have quantity because he has a quality from his national ideas. But it's just I, 70 I, I people. I think the idea was that he could have insane mega condottieri. Okay, so a bit, bit more Mimi, just go Condi and... Have not having to fight, people. but if if he sends like twenty five soldiers with these IDs and those generals, yeah, that's been that's what he was yeah. doing with France. Uh, Sweden was sending Condottieri on the Ottoman side, and uh, Russia was sending Condottieri on the French side. And uh, I mean, his morale could be higher. Hmm. Why is yeah, this but... Russian? Why is there this alliance so big? His uh, his morale is four point six. Yeah, it's not. I have five. I so. I just I don't think he's gonna. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna have any issues, but yeah, because he has a really <laughs> strong power base. Switzerland expanded a bunch here, but he still has a lot of dev here, and uh, 
Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he was allied to Austria last we looked at it, but uh, I'm, I think that's... Uh, it, it, it's a PTC alliance though, so... Yeah, I think that's uh, that's done with now, so <laughs> Austria might need to look out. Uh, one of the things, his professionalism is still a little bit low. He needs to get it to 50 for his mission tree. Victory card on Sweden as well, so... Yeah. Okay, so Sweden is just dead then. Yeah, especially like, look at the Prussian economy. It oh, barely but for his, uh, score, though, so he might yeah. be on live. Yeah, 48 in economy, but once... If he is able to get a hold of Liebeck and I stop pushing trade out of it... Which his... we're going to do, totally. Hmm? Yeah, it... <laughs> I'm... Okay. There... I might be pushing trade out of Ivory Coast instead. That's why I have the two islands there. Hmm. Uh, I think... But don't tell anyone, especially not Portugal or... Uh... Yeah, it's a secret. Yeah, yeah it's a total yeah. secret. Alright, he didn't pick his naval doctrine, so he's disgusting. Let's move to Austria. Uh, free policy slots available. I mean, I get they're not the best, but come on. But, uh, no, it's Austria, they are. It's free shit. Oh, we for... We... Uh... What happened? No, no, never mind. I was going to say something about the HRE policy. Um, all the mechanics for the estates are off cooldown, so I don't know what that's about. Um, he's getting the plus one mill, he's not getting plus one diplo, and he's getting plus one admin. Should fix the diplo situation. I think he can easily. He, he is uh, taking a civil war soon. Is he? Oh boy. He stopped it's it for now, but uh, you don't have that happen to you. Mm -hmm. yeah, he he definitely the... fixed his economy. Yeah, he's like, economy I remember was really it was bad. like plus 10 or 12 last uh, end of last And uh, he, he also have uh, the entire empire has great peasant war right now. So, uh, yeah, don't. Don't fall into a weak yeah. position because it's going to be super annoying for you with plus six and rest in all your provinces. I was trying to check his uh, vessels or PUs because when he integrates those, he's going to get the power spike as well. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure he can integrate them in 1550. Yeah. So mm -hmm. next session, probably he's going to get a little yeah, bit of a power uh, spike. And also, that. obviously, remember to take the uh, policy for reduced uh, integration cost. Yeah, where is that? Uh, it's number three uh, ID, and he doesn't have a third ID group yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, but he, yeah, he should when, have it by the when, time. It, when, when you stack that with the Austrian uh, Diplo Annex cost modifier, then that's just good. Uh, he's allied with me, but that was only due to him like forming a spawning a coalition. So I, I you know, I'm I'm allied to Prussia mainly, so I'm gonna stay out of that. Uh, and... He's allied to Spain. So that's against France, so I think his like eastern flank is a little weak diplomatically. Uh, especially seeing as his rival will Dimatia, so... Uh, not the best diplomatic situation, I can see why the previous player quit, I think he kind of boxed himself in. And, yeah, uh, but, his... um, wasn't it Dimatia I... that caused Switzerland to return the gold mine back to Austria? Something like that. Oh. Um, well... Yeah, it's at least returned. That was a power yeah. move. That's uh, pretty friendly. So I think, like, I think Dalmatia prefers Austria being alive over Switzerland g regaining power. Yeah. yeah. So I think maybe he'd be interested, uh, be but, kept alive, uh, just to keep Switzerland weak. Let Victory me also card say, be the first to say, we we nerfed the Holy Roman Empire too much. Hmm. I. Uh, it shouldn't be the case that you need someone really, really good on Austria to prevent... Yeah, to be European police for the first 50 years. Hmm. Well, I might want to rework that for 27 then. Let's uh, look yeah. at Dalmatia. What's the tag? Dal? I guess yes. it's... D-A-L, yeah. yeah. Um... 94 ducts per month, that's super good. Is four uh, times 60 chunky. force limit, that's super shit. Defensive ID, so I guess it's okay. Uh, What's he... the argument for going... 
Is he cheesing? He's a dictator. He's a dictatorship. Uh, it's a regular dictatorship from low republic sure, tradition. Right. Yeah, yeah, but this this intended because you can't do the sortation dictatorship thing anymore. I think. The thing is now, if his ruler dies, he becomes a monarchy. Yeah, yeah unless because but you used to be able to have uh, to That's not yes, be, for that not to happen if you had sortation and some cool tricks. Uh, didn't they patch that actually? I'm like 95 percent sure. Yeah, because he it. doesn't have have sortition. He has um, yeah. it automatically flipped him out of sortition. So when his ruler dies and he doesn't get this prepping tradition up. I'm um, typing kill in the chat. Yeah, king is crowned. Yeah, and uh, his ruler is 56. So um, if he wants to stay in Republic, he, he has can. to pull. No, he has to get his Republic tradition up. Yeah, but 50. you can't. You can't strengthen government while you're in presidential. You get events where you can like okay. Yeah, yeah, you get events, but he, he needs two of them. Oh, he can click uh, it. Yeah, he can click it. Click it. Oh, what? Huh? And what? So I guess that's been patched as well. That's um, working as intended, I guess. Not? Does it need it higher, or how does that mechanic work? It needs uh, about 50. 50. Huh, yeah. uh, Kashmak, type uh, kill. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there you huh. go. So just uh, bring so, your Republican tradition over fifty to stay a republic. Yeah. Or if you if you want to be kingdom for some reason, then uh, do that. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, he's uh, allied with Ottomans because he was allied with France initially, but uh, France started taking over too much of Italy, and like I said, that there was going to be a split here. It happened. Yeah. He broke the alliance with France, allied the Ottomans, and started taking over uh, Milan and the British sure Naples. Yeah, too. I don't think yeah. that was a surprise to anyone. Uh, it was a surprise to France, apparently. At least yeah. it's what he said in the voice chat during the game. <sighs> but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, like, um, Dalmatia has all the provinces to form Italy by now. It only, he only needs to finish the core on Rome. Yeah. And uh, tech. Yeah, but yeah. does he want to form Italy? Yes. Hmm. I, w I was pretty sure Dalmatia is a better tag, but... Oh, uh, Dalmatia has idea. really beautiful uh, missions, though. Yeah. A lot of them, huh? Mm. Right. Switzerland. Uh, let's... There's oh, something uh, we have... Oh, victory button. card. In Austria. Uh, Not surprising. Yeah. And his score, well, I don't need to check if he's not got his victory card. Switzerland is taking on and breaking the appearance, like provinces everywhere. Making good money, uh, same as last session. Decent advisors, he's focusing on Adwin. I guess because he's behind on ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. He's running one, uh, he could probably click away one of the uh, military policies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that he took that because yeah, of the war. Yeah, just right click it. Yeah, but... But yeah, you should remove war, that war so you losing the bonus. But, that's, but again, that's super minor. Uh, he's like, <laughs> I was saying, hey, don't go into the lowlands. And he's like, oh, which provinces are the lowlands? Check the map. Uh, low country. In regions. Yeah, he took a province in Brabant, didn't he? He took two of them! He took two? Luxembourg. Oh. Uh, Luxembourg as well. And he was like, and uh, okay, so this is good. And I said, no, this is, <laughs> you, you, you did it wrong. And then he, the main policy line he took was oopsie doopsie. Nice. And, and I guess that's, that's solid. That's uh, a I'm great foreign diplomacy any... to have. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not going to fight him over Luxembourg. Uh, yeah, who cares about Luxembourg? Yeah. And it's champagne trade notes. Remember that Monty not... Python yeah. skit about Luxembourg? Yeah, I, I love that Monty Python sketch. Amazing. A uh, piece of Australia. His income is 77, that's solid. His force limit is 80 and without having quantity, so that's super solid. Yeah, that's really good. How are his uh, buildings looking? 
He's got tax buildings everywhere, which is great. Uh, production buildings. Uh, everywhere. Have he bankrupted once? He's got really good buildings. I don't think he's bankrupted, but it could be possible. I don't think he needs to, because he makes so much. Yeah, he's making he a lot of money, and he was making even more because he held the gold mine. So... Uh, he, and he's yeah, he's finished all his naval buildings. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Confused. Yeah. yeah, so good nation. It's really hard to make Switzerland work properly because you're so boxed in and you have such big neighbors, but I think is making it work pro pretty well. I think with, I think mm -hmm. Westphalia dying and uh, Austria having issues and also no Bohemia helped out a lot. Well, there was a Bohemia, it died too. Yeah, but no. Oh, yeah, never mind. That's silly. I thought you were talking about Burgundy. Yeah, I was talking right. about Bohemia. Yeah, friends. Burgundy also died, so yeah, everything that was going to box him didn't. France? No naval doctrine. God. Uh, still in a super solid position. He lost a war. Didn't matter. 200 force limit, or 186. 110 income. Yeah, he's uh, really strong still. He's weaker than Otto for sure, but Otto's not his direct competition. So... Yeah, I think if he figures out the way to grow, uh, he can probably outscale Otto still. He, he's he's getting ten du uh, ducats in subsidies from me, because apparently I can't remember this. I drunkenly said that I didn't want the lowland provinces, after all, but and then when I, them. yeah, but and then when I next session said, hey, why aren't you giving me these provinces? He said because you said I didn't have to. And then when I said, please give them to me anyways, he said I had to pay him for them, so... I'm running low advisors, but that's because of governing cap as well, and I'm pretty sure he's building... Oh, he's not building anything at the moment. Yeah, he is at plus 60%, uh... <laughs> Oof. Yeah, he's... He's almost doubled governing cap. Yeah, he's got some loans, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure if he just uh, builds up he should be able to recover pretty well. Uh, he's... He's very close to being Empire though. And that's going to solve everything for him. That's a thousand, right? Yeah, he. but he has a thousand. Yeah, he it has... gives him another 200 government capacity. Yeah, yeah, so he only lacks the prestige. If he can integrate any of his vessels, that's... Uh, no, but he cool. has the... He has the dev. He does? He is at 1044. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So why didn't he already upgrade? Because he needs the prestige. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair okay. point. I should listen more often. Uh, uh, a thing that France would do is take the decision for the extra policies. There's no reason to not take it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Take that. <laughs> I think just yeah. the oversight not being familiar with the model. Yeah, uh, that's the main. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty big. Yeah. It's gonna help. Uh, he's still a bit from taking his third ID grip. He's been. Yeah. His morale is four. Is yet. So and his yeah he he's looking good still. Yeah. Let's look at Great Britain. Then yeah. The war chest. I see. Yeah, I'm waiting for the for the reduced build cost before building buildings. Mm, smart. Uh huh. What else are you um, doing? Nothing. Just being pacifist. A mothball heavy fleet. That's um. Yeah, but I did, yeah. it and my lightship fleet will beat any heavy fleet in the game at the moment. Yeah, and you don't really have a fleet competition anywhere, yeah. so no. that's fine. Yeah. So. Oh my god. What hmm? the f It's stuck in the Portuguese Navy. Yeah, I don't think you have a competition anywhere. Yeah, I, I smacked his Navy in the war we had. It looks like it. 13 colonies looking really chunky. Yeah, that's pretty. But we're going to look at him individually later, right? Yeah. Uh, I finally made uh, Holland a scourge or whatever it's called. What? The thing that where it doesn't get cold into your wars. Oh, scutage. Got it. I, I don't know. That's uh, how it's pronounced. Uh, yeah. But... Uh, 
control of the channel is solid. Uh, 70, uh, sorry, 92 force limit without quantity, so that's pretty good, but not impressive. Money is decent, a uh, decent plus. I still lack buildings, but Why I'm waiting for the... Oh, uh, because secrets. Hmm. Uh, the main reason being that with the Irish ID for the clans, uh, ID groups, IDs. The what? National IDs. National IDs. What, what do they uh, get? Uh, minus 20% uh, advisor cost. Oh. Well, so I... Nice. And with Parliament and other stuff, I could pretty easily go to minus 90% advisor cost and mm. just run 555 uh, advisors. You can see that at the moment I'm running 433. What's your like? Allied to Sweden, I see. Hugboxing, Octa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, famous for his hog boxing uh, and Repulsive. trustworthiness in alliances. Uh, yeah, what's uh, the overall situation like? Uh, me and Portugal made a deal that he gets uh, Canada, and I get Caribs. Why? Uh, I I don't know Why because would he I want wanted Caribs. I I genuinely do not know. That's, uh, but um, apparently, since we had no agreement regarding uh, the 13 colonies region, mm -hmm. he felt he had the right to expand into 13 colonies as well. Oh. Which is why you can see that if you look at the lower parts of 13, culture map mode, if you can switch to the some... nation. It's mostly okay. Portuguese. Oh. Yeah. I so, see. So that's why yeah, Turkey that, Colony is so chunky? Yeah, because Portugal had helped me colonize that a little bit. Well, so nice of him. Yeah, due to some miscommunications. And I know it's mean to bully players that are weaker than you, but I took it as a gauntlet to the face when he started colonizing 13. Why is the diplomacy around you like anyway? Does Port Portugal have any protector now? That Spain's pretty uh, much Spain, on the way I out? Think. Is the uh, to, um, is Mali? Spain, Spain and Spanish Mali. alliance? I think Spain is in a solid position. Hmm. I see. I do not think we should call Spain dead. Uh, I also have a victory card on France, and Fra uh, France a victory card on me. Oh, I That's also to check that. They have France. the ugly borders. Oh boy. Wait. France I has mine... a victory card on Holland. That's pretty rude but of you. My, to why is that. mine not on Normandy? I could swear it was no, on Normandy on, on the last save. Oh. Huh. Huh. Oh, do we have H victory cards that they. No, then we would have updated the thing as well. Um. That's the big thing. I don't know. Alright, are we ready to switch to Spain? This. Oh shit, it's ten, it's 10 o'clock already. Um, this is just I need to leave you guys. Oh, uh, you're not gonna stay head. for like 10 more minutes to wrap it up? No, because I'm 5 minutes too late already and I didn't pay attention mm. because we were having so much fun. Uh, need to run, bye bye. Alright, I'm gonna what? need you to take over because I don't know what to say. About Spain, I mean I didn't really see what happened diplomatically. Um, His income is pretty okay. He's allied to Ottomans now, but uh, he got wrecked by France in uh, one versus one. Mm. I'm pretty sure he just unconned immediately. Yeah. Uh, he got very lucky in that war. Uh, I kind of followed it. Um, that uh, France took the wrong provinces to prevent a Spain formation. Mm. Yeah, because he was still Castile. Castile, and then, um, yeah, he was still and then yeah, he was still Castile at that point, and he yeah. had Aragon as a PU. So France, if he played it properly, he could have. Uh, yeah. Curved him a little more, but he didn't. Yeah, he tried to release uh, Granada as a Sunni vessel, but for some reason it was Christian. Uh, what he should have done, just I think Valencia or Barcelona, one of those provinces, uh, prevents Spain formation. Huh. Huh. Yeah, so he's in a decent spot, seeing as he has Spain still. He's oh. not that far behind on France on income. Uh, military seems. The important thing is he's just a hundred standard away from his age objective. And he should definitely take this uh, Spanish territories. It's my 30% shock. Oh boy, Jesus. 
and especially like if he combines that with the policy for minus 10 shock damage received it just means in the shock phase uh he takes almost no damage so that is big that is really big yeah but he has to get there yeah and um he has to survive till there but he's allied to ottomans like i said the ottomans already walked into france so i don't think he's gonna yeah. let spain die i think ottomans biggest goal right now is just uh, preventing france from scaling too much so i mm. think uh, spain's gonna live and probably get his territories back that's my assumption he has tripoli that's disloyal for some reason i don't know why they would be minus 92. Um, yeah, he's religion. Yeah, he got, did it for the objective. He's uh, about ready to fire his um, age goal as well. So yeah, he... I think pretty good. And now the doctor's gone. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> gotta, he gotta watch out for Mali as well. He, Mali could ally France. Uh, I'm pretty yeah. sure they're friendly because uh, Mali is allied to Portugal and they're Castilla is uh, Spain yeah. is allied to Portugal as well. So I think they're on friendly terms. But yeah, if Mali allies France, that would be pretty big. So I would maybe fourth up down here. I think next session everything can happen in and around Iberia. Yeah, it's uh, like Ottomans can decide. It's maybe more important to scale himself because he's not. In, I think not completely built out. So. It's going to be interesting. He what has a here. victory card in France as well, so knowing Okta, that uh, might be worrying for France, seeing as Okta and another neighbor have victory cards on him. And France yeah. is diplomatically isolated now as well, except for Switzerland, mm. so it might be a good time for them to, to jump on it. Last European, Portugal. Um, yeah. yeah. He hasn't rebuilt his navy yet. Mm. His, um, uh, important part about Portugal, before we forgot it, I talked about it with Okta. Uh, and if you go into his mission tree, the very left uh, branch, he should rush the next mission that is for Brazil, because that means he will get a super gold mine in the Brazil region and is more likely to find gold in Brazil. Mm. It's an economically super amazing mission. Yeah, and it would empower his Brazil player a yep. lot. So yeah, I'll like it's right like Tyrol Tyro gold mine times two, basically. Yeah. So uh, he yeah. seems to be spreading out these colonies for some reason. Uh, he has one one in Colombia and one in um, La Plata. Uh, if it was up to me, I would probably f focus on like popping out colonial nations as quick as possible because you can get more players as your subject. And there's already yep. one more waiting to join the colonies. So I think Col Colombia is already fifty percent claimed. Yes. By Essex, so Argentina should be as a priority. Getting up one in Argentina and maybe try to make a deal for the southern half of the Incas. What's still left? Yeah, I would have definitely gone uh, heavy into Argentina, and like you need to focus on empowering Brazil right now a little more. And uh, you got kicked out of Africa, uh, which is. I mean, he could have done. I mean, it's over by now, but he could have backstabbed Spain and tried to form Spain himself mm -hmm. with a deal with France. It's possible, but yeah. It's still possible, it's... especially since he's allied to Mali as well. But this um, army is like not there at all. Another thing, like also like saw that for a couple of sessions, um, he's not running three advisors. Like, oh boy, I see that. Especially Portugal, like, especially after in the first session, he was only running one advisor, a high level one, but only in one uh, point region. It's way more economic to run three level one advisors always. Yeah, you should run all it's, three uh, advisors, and you also need to fix your estates because you're missing uh, Diplo, you're missing Admin, and you're missing yeah. Mill. So that's big. But, and you're on 36, uh, so you can pretty much take all three of them and live. Yeah. You just take all three and then buy crown and back and yeah, it's yeah. not, it's not going to kill you. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's a uh, fifteen thirty-five. It's a little late, uh, but I mean, it's still better. Late, I usually later recommend. Than uh, I would recommend in fourteen forty-four go down to zero crown land by picking all three and just then by conquest and deving you get it all back. Yeah, even without rebuying. So, um, yep, a bit late for that. Yeah. 
Castro, I think he can recover somewhat if he just consolidates Brazil and La Plata. And if, if he gets two strong Colonial Nation players there, that could be strong. And we also left it in the rules that he can like release them and make an ally. And that might be a good play if he manages to create a strong Brazil to release him and get an amount of money back. And then get the insane ally there that can help him like take some more colonies in the New World. Because uh, uh, Brazil can be really strong. Yeah. His prior number one should be to not make new enemies. Yeah. Like I've seen Portugal in this state or half of Indonesia, but uh, yeah, he's not in Asia at all. He has one small colony. Yeah. He should be very concerned with staying alive and not stepping on people's toes, in my opinion. Yeah, because uh, he got he had the province here and he was uh, going into uh, Indonesia, Indonesia, but uh, yeah. he got kicked out by Kilva, so. Like you said, he should uh, try and focus on staying alive now, especially since Mali, mm -hmm. his biggest ally, has a uh, you know victory card on it, him. That that should be a concern. Do some more diplo. Uh, does he have a victory card? He has one on Brazil, so yeah, colonize this. You know. Yeah, he can't get that one on uh, Brazil because it's going to his subject. Uh, doesn't that count? Uh, Octa. If we were talking with Octa about it, and he said. No, I'm oh, not entirely I'm sure. sure that counts. A normal subject it uh. does not count. On colonial nations, I'm not sure. If it would be a normal vessel, it would not count. Congo also took a province in there, like, so, yikes. Oh, Congo has one on his victory yeah. card. Yeah, Congo has a <laughs> province in his victory card and Congo went exploration, so... That might be uh, a little bit interesting. of a rift between him and Mali. Yeah, All right. let's call it interesting. Let's uh, look at the new world, starting with Brazil, and then go up. Yeah, it's C00, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, not much going on here. He didn't uh, really have time to do much. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, exploration for the two colonies is nice to finally get everything colonized. He should make focus uh, with Portugal and getting the mission for all the gold done. Yeah, shouldn't yeah. he also be uh, searching for the seven cities? You can get pretty sizable. Uh, you, can you search for the seven cities if your capital is in the new world? I think so. I mean, I guess Aztecs can't do it. I know that, but um. Oh no, you can't. Sure I thought colonial of nations my... can. My bad, he can't. Uh, um, bit far behind on tech. Uh. Yeah, he was. Yeah, also like way. advisors. Three level one advisors always, no matter your situation. Yeah, like Just we've been saying for everyone else. Uh, they did not get the states. Um, I'm confused as well. What yeah, the I hell? thought they get. Is this a bug, guys? Um, he has a parliament. Um, I don't What's know if this is bugged. I think that might be a bug, yeah. Or maybe that's just how the base game is. I'm not sure. Ooh, he has no estates. Oh, yeah, he has no estates at all. No. We'll have to oh, check the uh, base game. Yeah. One more reason to gain independence. Um. <laughs> what, what, what's the government type? Uh, colony. Colonial so government, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure if co colonies have... We might want to rework Normal that for the next season then. Yeah. Alright, next one is Aztec. So take it away, Aztec. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, three sessions in a row, single player. Yeah. Because I expected to have colonial wars with Spain, but Spain never came. Um, yeah. Um, did you get the contrary? No, you, you did not get the victory card yet. Oh, I have it on the Caribbeans. Oh, why is it not showing up? Oh, it's here. Yep. Huh. Those, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, so, I have force limit, I have tons of morale, um, I finally finished consolidating most of the natives. Yeah? Yeah, just um, uh, single player all the way, I guess. Single player all the way to the point. Like, the thing is, like, when you really can start building up Mexico is Tech 14, when all the plantations come from Tech. Mm -hmm. So, I uh, kind of have to wait for that, but yeah. Kind of in the position where I can think about um, my own colonies in the other world. I see. Yeah. Um, GB landed in Texas. Don't know how to feel about that. Didn't you do have some sort of an agreement? Um, <laughs> maybe, yes, yeah. Uh, 
obviously, like, uh, yeah, talk to all the colonizers. So, yeah. What is your alliance with Shimazu like? Um, I don't know. I found his colony in Alaska, and I was like, okay, send this guy an alliance. Just because there's no much, not much. Interior. I couldn't help him because for me, he's still in Tarek of Nita, mm-hmm. all of Japan. So how could I help him? Yeah. Yeah, I think like next one or two sessions is when I start interacting with the other players a bit more. It's gonna be more interesting. All right, are we look. Are we ready to look at the last one? Yeah. Thirteen colonies. Oh, uh, we have two colonies. Uh, Caribas is played as well. Oh, Caribas is played as well. All right, we'll we'll do Caribas after thirteen then. No. Um. Again, not much to see. It doesn't have a state either, though. So I think I, I don't know if that's in the base game or if it's a bug, but I think they should have a state. No. I mean, it grew uh, pretty quickly. I mean, it's it's about the session. It's already close to three hundred death. So yeah, he's missing uh, policies. I don't know if they get victory mm. cards as subjects. It doesn't look like it. Mm. I think he's still too small for victory cards, isn't he? Yeah, it? or that. Uh, so yeah, not much to say except run level one advisors, obviously, mm. everywhere. Like we've been saying. And think about the religion. I don't like Catholic. Like, especially since the Council of Trent uh, passed all the wrong reforms. So, Protestants, in my opinion, the strongest solution. But that can't be said about many nations in Europe. Yeah, I think uh, switching to Protestants is always the preferred option. Mm. Uh, he can't go quantity, a bit unfortunate. He can't pick a maritime. Yeah. So, I think he's still I think, pretty strong either uh, way. Maybe should have done, like, if you go to Caribas, what Caribas did, it's pick eco, uh, eco ideas or explo ideas to push the eco even more. Because in a war, even if he has quality ideas, he's not going to p- contribute much. Yeah. So focusing on getting big quickly might have been better here. Hmm. Yeah, right. Let's switch yep. to the last one then. Not much to say about the colonizer so far, I didn't really get much time to play the game. Uh, missing the advisor again, and they, he can afford it. I don't know why they keep doing that. Yeah. Um, expansion Pluto Economic. Yeah. I think that's a good idea set. And yeah, Eco to go, because he doesn't get much land, he can only colonize in this uh, colonial region, right? Yeah. Or is he allowed to expand? He could only get the colonial region through colonizing, but I'm pretty sure we okay. left it in the rules that they can conquer outside. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think eco is a solid pick, and then quality, so his boats are a bit better, because it's in the end it's on an island, everything, so yeah. he needs boats. And he can't pick maritime, the closest he can pick is quality, so he should definitely get it. Um, yeah, That's about remains it. to be seen what comes of it. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's it, boys. See you next week. <laughs> yeah.